What up? It's the asshole. This is the guy you fucked. The guy you fucked over. I'm still the champion. I am joined by my favorite person in the world this week. And Cole. But, aww. <laughs> oh, I, I am joined by Cole Zini, my best friend, Cole, and Cole, yeah. He's so cool you say Cole twice. How's it going, Cole? Pretty good. And then, oh, I wanted to use this nickname for myself. Well, FYI to everyone, I'm Fiery Apple, and he's the Green Apple, he's the Green Monkey, he's the Green Ranger, he's Aquaman, he's the Wonder Poodle, and this week, he's the Green Monster. Even though I don't know if I have a green monster, Cole might have one, I don't know. No, I don't, actually. What the fuck, Cole? I texted you on Tuesday saying you needed a green monster. Damn it. Speaking of monsters, I notice it has to do with nothing with FXW, and nothing about wrestling. But Cole, they came out with a new monster? It's a fucking vanilla milkshake monster. Nice. Sounds it sounds amazing, so, uh, people, I'm gonna be fucking, I'm gonna be drunk off of, uh, Vanilla Monster. Even though I bought a four pack, it came to like nine dollars. I was so mad. But anyway. Yeah. This is a big week in FXW history. Big week in general. I know you two are excited, or if you didn't read my message. Oh wait, no, I didn't send one. But this weekend we are starting a tournament for $50, 50 in Microsoft points. Are you got excited? Oh yeah. Who's going to win? Cole, who's going to win? <laughs> Obviously me. I want a $50 with the Microsoft Oh, who's going to win? Monkey, who's going to win? Monkey. So, I was going to speak there, but I was thinking it's a monster. That's the only bad thing about this monster. Like, it's so good, you can drink it. Like, I can't drink soda and all that shit, like, fast, because it's so disgusting. But this is fucking delicious. Please? Mm, that's funny. The yeah. vanilla one, right? Yeah, vanilla milkshake. Sounds so fucking good. It is. And it also helps you build bones, too. It's an energy shake. What else? Hmm. You know, Cole, I'm just going to start like drinking these. Like that. I'm going to start drinking these, and instead of, like, this jelly Subway guy, I'm going to be this big muscle guy just by drinking Monster. Where did you get these jerk muscles? I drank monster. I drank monster. <laughs> but anyway, what a big week in FXW. What a big week in wrestling. And what a big fucking week as Riddle Culkin has come back to us. You good? Yes, I am breaking the news now. Me and Riddle Culkin are back on speaking terms. Well, that's good. He had a birthday this week. Fuck, I forgot his gift. I died. Yeah. No, I was actually going to get him something, but I forgot. I'm lazy like that? I didn't even know it was his birthday. Oh, fuck! I forgot my cow tails in the fucking car. Oh. Oh, my God. Those are so good. Cole, talk <laughs> randomly. How was your week? Talk about your week. Oh, well, some kid shot himself in my school. Wait, hold on. Uh, I want to talk about that later. Don't tell it the details. Go to something else. Um, we had, like, a threat in our school. Like a bomb threat or some shit. Oh, shit. Which, that was pretty funny, I thought. <laughs> Did we go to school? With the DU? No, but was it me? Okay, what happened? <laughs> there was a threat, a bomb threat, in my school. Sorry, Cole, I needed to text you, and I needed you out of class. Oh. 
<laughs> I was like, I need Cole to see that he has to go live with me. So I sent the bomb flat and then I sent you the text. Yeah, I know, right? Dude, what the fuck? Thank God I didn't go. I would have been blown up. So, whoa, wait, go back to the kid shooting himself. What happened? Um, he was getting bullied and... He... he was, like, I don't know. He shot himself? He, yeah, it wasn't in school, though. That's how you know when someone's a dumbass. It's, they're getting bullied and they shoot themselves. No offense, Cole. Yeah. Like, if I ever get pissed off at one of you guys, I'm not shooting myself, I'm shooting you. <laughs> like, let's be honest. Yeah. It was sad and all, but... Did he shoot himself in the... Like, is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Oh, I was gonna say, if he shot himself and didn't die, wouldn't that be fucking gay as shit? That'd be horrible, because then he'd live a terrible life after. Can you imagine that? Like, you're just driving the side, you want to shoot yourself, hit a bump, and hit yourself, like, shoot yourself in the arm. Yeah. <laughs> Go to the fucking hospital? How did you fucking get this bullet in your arm? Well, I was trying to kill myself, and I hit a bump. That's end up trying to pick his nose, he fucking goes up to his nose, then he hits a bump, and he fucking pushes his nose sideways. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> fucking retard. <laughs> That's why Endos not with us, guys. Kid. Um, just in case you were wondering why Endos not here this week. Um, his penis pump broke on Tuesday. I bought him a new one, and I don't know something that he had to pump something. He told me. So that's why Endos not here. I, can you believe that he needed a new penis pump? That's terrible. I know. Did you get him a pink one? No, I got him a blue, uh, not blue, I got him a purple, uh, purple, uh, dildo now. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Do you know, by the way, if anyone needed to notice, they sell fucking dildos and penis pumps all on Amazon. Yeah, that's cute. 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 Bucky, would you buy a used penis pump or a fucking dildo from someone? Forty. <laughs> like it's half off. Step on. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I'm not gonna pay full price. Fucking <laughs> 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 okay, might get a disease from it, but you never know. You think you can UPS that? Yeah. <laughs> Just fucking go into a UPS with a fucking dildo. Oh, uh, yeah, can I send this out? Like, how do I wrap it? <laughs> 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 oh, that'd be so fucking weird. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. <laughs> oh my god. This has been eight minutes over here. We haven't talked one thing about wrestling or fucking FXW. But yes, this is the best episode uh, ever. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> get, a, get someone a fucking slipper and a dildo, but put the dildo inside the slippers? <laughs> yeah, so then they go through it all. And then they're like, what the fuck? Dude, do that for fucking Secret Santa. If anyone fucking ever goes to an office or has one in school, do that for fucking Secret Santa. Because no one will know it with you. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be terrible. <laughs> yeah, Cole, funny. Cole, just answer yes or no. Your friend's sitting next to you. Yeah, he's just listening to videos and stuff like <laughs> <laughs> he fucking probably sitting in there like, why are they fucking talking about if fucking- If you heard this conversation, it'd be fucking weird. <laughs> why the fuck are they talking um, about dildos and UPS? You <laughs> fucking penis pump on Amazon. You penis pump. That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> hey man, they're like, and how then We're wondering if you could UPS them. If you UPS them, would you wrap them in something? What, what would you wrap them with? Bubble <laughs> wrap, yeah. Oh, you can do bubble wrap? 
Probably. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. We should put it in like a slipper or some shit. <laughs> so they wouldn't make it so weird. This is awesome. Cole's giving me like a like a reminder what we talked about already. You want a giant black one? <laughs> oh, okay. Yo, you gotta go with that pink shit for fucking breast cancer, Mops. Oh, yeah, pink. <laughs> breast cancer. Oh, pink, yeah, Tuck it in your football uniform, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, half black or something? Oh, yeah. Even Connor can do it, your whole team can do it. Hey, you know, they say real men wear pink. Do, do real men get fucking pink shit shoved up their ass? That would be my question. Because if so, then yeah, pink would be a perfect color to deal with that. I guess. <laughs> if he's gay, but... I'm the guy, but... Oh my god, we're six episodes yeah. in and we're talking about dildos and Peter Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's ten times better than talking about TNA. Oh, <laughs> God. Monkey. How's it going? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, wait, but... Going great. <laughs> honestly, Cole, I'm sorry about your friend shooting himself. I know, it's terrible. At least it wasn't you. I know, right? Because if Cole killed himself, I don't know if I can continue, guys. TNA, I'm loved. I don't know if I would have to take a day off or something. I might have to. You know what? Yeah. Cole, if you ever kill yourself, just know like, we have a pay-per-view scheduled that day. But take it off. But, like, we'll get a, give you a little tribute thing the next day. And, like, we'll win the bill ten, ten times for you. What up? Malky, what do you want to jump into? You decide. Do you want to jump on to... Do you want us to talk about Raw, yeah. SmackDown, TNA, or my newfound relationship with Tivo? Why the fuck does everyone love this kid? I don't know, man. Okay. Carl, do you remember a guy named... cute and short, man. <laughs> He's cute and short. Dude, he fucking looks <laughs> jacked, FYI, too. Like, he looked like he can kick my ass now. Like, fucking for real. Like, he did a wife beater. He tried to copy me, too. Like, we all know there's only one person in FXW who can lock wife beaters. What else? And why I, that's the new rule. Fuck you, monkey. Fuck you, Cole. Fuck everyone else. Only I can fucking have photos of me of wife beaters when I want. Okay? That's my trademark. Got it, monkey? Got it. No wife beaters for you. Stick to the cutoffs. Yeah, you can stick to the cutoffs and fucking taking the fucking shitty uh, Facebook mirror pictures, Cole. Yes, I will. Monkey, you can stick to uh, you know, whatever the fuck you tweet about. I don't know. Riddle, Riddle Coke, you can stick to the selfies. Selfie. Let me do the selfie. Dude, I just want to see a dead body because then I would totally take a selfie. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Mike is dead over here. Wait, wait. Mike's last picture. Be. <laughs> Maybe that should be what I do. They fucking take the most fucked up selfies. That would be funny. <laughs> About to car take crash. Selfie. Car crash. Selfie. About to take a shit. Selfie. After the shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes! That's everyone's mission for FXW this week. You have to take a selfie with a fucking shit behind you. What? <laughs> <laughs> your pants down to your ankles? Oh, no, no. You just get your face where you also, like, show the shit in the toilet bowl. Grab their shit. <laughs> yeah, it's enough to fucking text you put underneath it, too. I got this shit. Oh my fucking god. But anyway, Tebo texts me too. I texted him a while ago saying I was sorry. And yeah, we're just talking again. We're doing a special sometime this week about mine and his rivalry. Cole, you're doing a one eventually with Endot. 
Oh. When that fucking yeah, guy comes back from using a penis pump way too much. Literally, where is he though? I don't know, he fucking got caught in the storm or something. Did he? Yeah. I was happy too. I was just like, as long as it's not my power going out. Yeah, we got hit with the storm, but not big. Dude, we got hit by the storm and then my dog shit in the house. <laughs> <laughs> That's the shit up, don't worry. Dude, like, I love my dog. My dog is like the biggest, friendliest dog, but once it comes to a storm, she's a fucking bitch. She's a scared little bitch, and then she poops in the house. But, you know what? My dog could cut it. Oh, and she peed in the house, too. To my credit, oh, don't forget that. she fucking did it downstairs where we don't have the carpet. So she was pretty smart. Like, she didn't do it on the carpet. She did it downstairs easy enough to clean up. Then again, I don't pick up my dog shit anyway. Like, that's everyone else's job. <laughs> like, my, I used to take my dog for a walk almost every day. And, like, it was shit on the road. And I wouldn't even do anything. We would just run. Like, I wouldn't pick it up. I wouldn't put it in the garbage. I wouldn't kick it to the side of the road. I would look at my dog and be like, Well, it's time to run. And we would just fucking run out of there. That's funny. <laughs> Cody, you clean up your dog shit? No, I don't take it for a walk. You don't clean up the yard, though? Nope. <laughs> No, my mom doesn't do shit. My, monkey. She doesn't even clean the dog shit up. Mom, monkey, we're just gonna be invited to Cole's fucking house one day and we're just gonna walk in the backyard. Oh, what's this brown stuff in the yard? Ew, shit, guys. Chocolate. <laughs> my yard is made with chocolate. <gasps> you have Willy Wonka to kidnap! I fucking knew why I couldn't get any more lappy taffy. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, but yeah, me and Tebow are talking again. It's very weird. I feel open when I talk to Tebow. Like, he doesn't judge me. Like, he just... There. Because, Cole, I have a problem. I'm addicted to Monster. I fucking use Monster like you use Chew. Yeah. By the way, how is that going for you? Still going good. <laughs> Still going good. Monkey, what's the one thing you're addicted to? For some reason, it's orange juice. <laughs> Wait, what? Did you say porn? Hey, man, I would've took down that shit, too. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did he say porn? No. He said orange juice. Oh, I thought he said fucking porn for a minute. <laughs> After my first orange juice and vodka, I would've took down orange juice for, like, four months. Dude, Monkey, how the fuck do you drink that shit? I fucking hate fucking almond juice. Gotta be the real shit. Dude, like, I was sick a couple months ago, and I, I had Boo who drank, bring me some uh, almond juice, and for the rest of the day, I was pissed off I had almond juice. I was like, why the fuck did I ask for almond juice? I fucking hate almond juice. Why the fuck do I like this shit? Yeah, sometimes I just drink the mango juice. Oh, I fucking hate mangoes. <laughs> what are you doing over there? Thinking about my fucking cat. Hey! We cold pussy alone. <laughs> God, everyone's so dirty today. We're talking about pussies, dildos. Good. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Monkey, do you own any of that dirty shit? <laughs> like, let's be honest, Monkey, like, can I be honest with you? Okay, yeah. You seem like one of those people, like, you, you probably fuck a lot of women, so you probably are down to that dirty shit. Like, come on, let's be honest. Like, the quiet people are the ones who get the action. Uh-huh. Yeah. But they're also the ones who blow up their schools and fucking go, uh, killing people in the hallways. <laughs> What? My bad. That's why me and Cole. 
That's why me and Cole will never be murderers, because we always have something to say. Dude, that, speaking of that, I had a meeting this this week in school, and they told me, they go, you speak your mind, don't you? I go, oh, hell yeah. I speak my very short mind, yes, yes sir. <laughs> yeah, I know. Wait a minute, they called yeah, you in they just they for that. that? You speak your mind, don't you? Yeah, well, have a nice no. day. No, it was just about my whole fucking thing, like what I want to do next year and shit. Ooh, what are you going to do next year? Like, for, like, what do I want to do when I get out of school? You want to come with me to own my wrestling company. Don't fucking lie. Yeah, that'd be cool. Me... Me, you, Tebow, Monkey, and Gangman are all gonna have mansions in fucking Jersey. Yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah. no, I don't know if we're gonna have each have mansions or if we're just gonna do the Jersey Shore House. Uh. <laughs> because I have a funny feeling it would be me, Cole, and Monkey. Fucking, we would be like the new MVP. Players, yeah, yeah we, we would be like MVP, <laughs> but none of our names start with MV or P. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so great. We'll fucking get t-shirts and we'll have an MVP. Oh, what's your name? My name's Bill. My name's Cole. Oh, so uh, why are you guys called MVP? We just fucking are, bitch. Yeah, we're fucking pros here. <laughs> so we roll. What are you guys MVP at? You'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, I know. I can't do it. Cole, would you want fucking top room or bottom room in this mansion? Where am I? Holy. Would you want the top I'm, floor I'm, or the bottom? I'd probably want the bottom because if there's a fire. <laughs> I'll case. be the first one out. You're just like, fuck, it's badass, it's smoking. And he fucking misses a fucking joint. I have to be close to the door. Or we're fucking making a bomb or some shit. <laughs> Skull, I only do bomb I'm out. I only do bomb flats, I don't know how to make bombs. Maybe I my vote. In my fucking town, where I am, how does anyone know how to do that? You look, can I be honest with you, Cole? You look like you live in buck fuck nowhere. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, I've seen fucking pictures of fucking Cole's neighborhood. It looks like everyone has a fucking shotgun, and when kids run on, like, the old people's jaw, they get shot at with a shotgun. Yeah, but we got a rapist down the road that's pretty cool. Oh my god, I moved in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His house looked like shit. Then he got it remodeled. For all the little kids to come inside. Now oh. I think it's a nice place. Did he give out good candy for trick or treating? I don't go to his house when I go. <laughs> Cole's smart. He stayed away from those creepy old men. I don't know why he stay still hangs out with fucking me, but... I mean, anyway... Anyway! This is horrible. We haven't talked about us to but I don't want to. <laughs> I don't either. This is ten times more fun. Cole, oh, if, yeah. if we did an FXW version of fucking um, Jersey Shore, who would you want to room with? If you had to pick two people. Oh. And no girl, dude. I'm sorry, but... Not to be rude, but I wouldn't want Little Cookin or you. <laughs> a fight would spring out, and then I'd probably get fucking punched in the face. <laughs> I'd be like, hey guys, cut it out. <laughs> I probably would too, Cole. would be like, hey guys, stop it. Shut the fuck up, Cole. Anyway, where were we, Timo? I have to say gang man. You gang man and who else? Monkey, probably, because he's quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, man. I'm fetching a turd on your pillow every day. 
Fine, man. I'll yeah. fucking keep my Facebook after seeing it myself, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I call pick the fucking two people who would never use drugs. I'll get them to. Fuck his <laughs> I'll get them to. <laughs> Marky, who would you stay with? You're two people. Uh, you. And. That's probably cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a fart until I'm giving pink eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it was for you, I was born with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Fuck, I think I would go... I don't know what I would pick Cole. I think I would go Rare Breed, Tebow. Rare Breed and Tebow. Because, Monkey, I'm sorry, you're way too quiet. You know what? No, I think I would go with Colin. Oh, wait, wait. Why? So he can tell you about his car? <laughs> wait, what? He can tell you about his car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't fucking have to hear about it through text. I can just see it. I don't know, though. Would you want to pick, like, people who can't get with women, though, for your room? Because then it would just be awkward. If, like, if you all have a chick in the same room, though. Well, I'll just look at her. I don't know, but then if you pick someone who can't get a girl, then they would be jealous and be like, this fucking guy, Cole. Damn, I don't know. That's a tough question. Yeah. Oh, my God, that's fucking tough. <laughs> who who should we not bring? Like, if we had to pick two epic W members, we would not run in this house. Who would it be? So Winkle. <laughs> You're not picking any chicks up for nothing. No. No, not even picking up chicks. That's because they're too annoying or too something. He's annoying. I. And Monkey, who would you go with? The two people you would not invite to the charity storehouse. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know anybody that well that I would not want to bring. I definitely agree with Cole. No show ankle. No show ankle then. No show ankle then. Um, he literally ate the kid. <laughs> he would literally eat everyone. We would have no food in the house ever. Damn. Him and underground, I have to say. Because I would bring Endot. We need someone in the house that we all hate. Underground's too big, so I don't know if I'd ever want to hang out with him. Like, we need someone we all hate. And underground's just not underground. Endot's just that guy. Like, we just all hate him. Oh, fuck. So, okay. We've been going for a half an hour. I guess we have to talk about wrestling. Monkey, yeah, what did that you that think about... Undertaker, man. What did you think about that shitty TNA pay-per-view? It was the best of the worst. Every... Watch it. Like, honestly, I don't even want to talk about this pay-per-view because it sucks so badly. Like, honestly, you have Magnus retaining because fucking Abyss goes through the ring and fucking takes out Samoa Joe. That which made to me no sense. I don't, know. I don't know how he fucking fit underneath the ring. Can we all be honest here? <laughs> and then Bully Ray screwed over Team Dixie. Turn face, and then Willow's fucking queer. But she not even look like the Willow I saw in those promos. Well, he wrestled on Impact too against Rockstar Spud, and he fucking lost by DQ. I don't think she did DQ ever seen. 
Do wait, did you see that match with Willow and fucking Rockstar Spud? Yeah. <laughs> he did the holder with the crack. He fucking got disqualified for hitting him with the fucking umbrella. <laughs> Yeah. I was <laughs> laughing so hard. I was like, what the fuck? Is it Jeff Hardy or no? It is Jeff Hardy. So he look, but he looked like an old man. He just had a mask on. And the reason why I hate this is called because, like, a lot of people knew it was Jeff Hardy. But why would you admit it's Jeff Hardy? But they're gonna still, they're gonna be chanting Jeff Hardy. Exactly! And like, well no, they actually had a real chant going. It's Jeff Hardy's ultra ego. That's how they're yeah. fucking bringing it in. How is it ultra ego? Like, if you would have had Willow first, then it would have worked. Then we could see it. Yeah. Like, I'm almost much more about it than not say it wasn't Jeff Hardy. But, like, just not admit it, you know what I mean? Like, don't deny it or admit it. Just say it's Willow. But it's so stupid how they did it. Um, it was so stupid, too, because that lockdown, they didn't even acknowledge that it was him. And then on CNA, all of a sudden, they do admit it. Yes, actually. But lockdown was shit. Then you go to Monday Night Raw, and that was an okay show, I guess. Yeah. Um, yes. The yes. whole. Yeah. I really hate to say this because Cole's a Daniel Bryan fan, but that whole fucking Daniel Bryan shit was fucking stupid. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, because I do want to see Triple H versus uh, Daniel Bryan, and I do think he needs to be in that triple threat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh -uh. Yeah, he's gonna make the match better, because if it's just Randy Orton and the future, then that's gonna be shit. But I'm just saying, why the fuck? I didn't believe any of it. These random people with Daniel Bryan shirts just happened to fucking jump the barrier to fucking stand with him? No. You would have thought everyone would do it. Oh, yeah. I thought as soon as I seen people running down there, I thought everyone would have fucking run over. You know what I mean? Like, honestly, what would have they done if they fucking did? Because no one would have stopped it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I would have done maybe Daniel Bryan versus The Shield or something, and if Daniel Bryan wins, he gets Triple H in that stipulation. But I just think the way they set that up was stupid. Oh, yeah. I do want to get your two opinions, though. Would you rather see the <coughs> members of the Shield versus each other at WrestleMania? Would you rather see Jack Swagger versus Antonio Cesaro at WrestleMania? Or would you rather see Cody Rhodes versus Goldust at WrestleMania? Well, all three of these are rumor matches for Mania. It's supposed to be the Shield in a triple threat for the U.S. title. Jack Swagger versus Antonio Cesaro. And then Cody Rhodes versus Goldust. All three of them are rumored. But Wait, when why Cody versus Goldust? What? Are they breaking up? They're all supposed to be. Why, man? Oh, because they really, like, they really want to go one-on-one -on -one at WrestleMania. They just became, started becoming a good tag team again. I don't yeah, even think they're a good tag team, to be honest. Did you do a, a, a lot of good spots? Like, Cole, like, even, I don't know, like, I think Cody Rhodes is better than tag team champion. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Goldust, he's old. Like, he, can, he can't really do a 20-minute match. Cody Rhodes can. Push this guy, you know what I mean? But they're, but they're not going to push him, like, any, you know? How do you, like, how do you know, though? You know what I mean? Because they say they'll push a guy, but they don't. Yes and no. Like, name a good example. Like, Bo Dallas, weren't they going to push him? Who? 
Bodellus. They brought him in the. They kind of did. He was fucking NXT champion for a while, if you want to be technical. Now he's nothing. And Cole, did you want to use Bo Dallas as your example? People were booing him when he was doing that fucking feud with Wade Barrett. They were cheering for Wade Barrett. You know I what I mean? Hear. And all of his matches were sloppy. Like, even the NXT one on the WWE Network with Neville, I thought that was sloppy, too. Yeah, he needs to work, I guess, if you think about it. Like, everyone that they're pushing right now, I love. Like, the Wyatt family's awesome. The Shield, awesome. Biggie Langston, awesome. So, I don't know. Out of those three matches, though, what would you rather see at Mania? I probably want to see the shield. Really? Yeah. Because that title has been on Dean Ambrose for the longest time and I don't want to see it on there anymore. That, let me, before I get your opinion, Monkey, let me ask Cole a follow-up. Cole, would you rather see them take the title off Dean Ambrose and then give it to who? Probably like Roman Reigns. Really? You would put the U.S. on him? Yeah, for his first title and then have him work his way up. I definitely would not put the U.S. title on him. <laughs> then, yeah, he may be a big guy for it, but... No, it's just, still. he has so much momentum, I don't think he needs that title. Like, okay. who do you see winning the WWE Championship, or the World, whatever the fuck, the main title? Right now? At WrestleMania, who do you think wins? Obviously, Batista, they're going to make him win. So, exactly. That would be my point to you right there. You would, I wouldn't put that title on Dean Ambrose, not Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, and have him plan on going against Batista at either Extreme Rules or the pay-per-view after. I don't know what they're doing this year. Would you rather do uh, that or give him a good, long... Like, if you were booking, would you rather have him go for the WWE Championship at a face, or give him that lower title? Probably just have him do the face. Yeah, I guess you could go either way with it, honestly. Monkey, what would you rather see Roman Reigns do? Go for the WWE Championship, if you think he's ready, or go for the U.S.? Uh, I think he at the level where he should be, like, well, the face of the WWE Champion. I think he is, but, I don't know, I think he still needs some work. Yeah. Sure. Because you I could so potentially do the U.S. and then maybe think about combining the U.S. and Intercontinental at SummerSlam, have Roman Reigns go against Big E. Potentially do that. Yeah. But what... Out of those three matches, the Shield versus each other, uh, Jack Swagger, Antonio Cesaro, or Cody Rhodes versus Goldust, what would you rather see? If you can only see one at Mania. Uh, I'd say why not Cody Rhodes and Goldust. I actually agree with you. Yeah. The next time Golden is going to be enacted over uh, his health, then that's because it. Right now is the time to do it. The Shield would be a good match. Jack Swagger and Antonio Cesaro would be a good match. But I think you would just get a good moment out of Cody Rhodes and yeah. Goldust, you know? Like, not everything has to be a good match. Look at that match Undertaker versus Mick Foley. Or Mankind in that Hell in a Cell. That wasn't a good match, but it had great moments that you still see. Yeah. Like, people think that was the first Hell in a Cell, and it wasn't. Yeah. But some people think that was the first Hell in a Cell. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Undertaker vs. Sean at Bad Blood... 1998, I believe? 
I don't really know. I don't know what the year, but I know with Bad Blood, Shawn Michaels vs. Undertaker. But, I don't know. Um, no one watched SmackDown, right? I didn't. I had I'm, I'm sorry, people. I'm really trying to watch SmackDown, but I have work, and it's just not worth my time. It's not worth the spot on my DVR. Like, it's really not. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I think Lockdown was worse. Like, I, it, Lockdown had to be worse than the Royal Rumble this year. Why the fuck? Oh wait, did you guys see Bobby Lashley return? Oh yeah, yeah. that's cool. I like his music, I don't know about you, but I like his music. I don't know, I what think is it's it? Is okay. it the same? No, it's a little bit it's different. Okay. I'll have to look it up later. Did not he still have that car thing at the beginning, right? Where the car turns on? Yeah, but... Did you guys see how good of a shape that Bobby Lashley looks, though? How old is he? I don't know. They say he has his own gym, so... But there's this, like, three-minute video. Do you guys get the chance on YouTube later? It's on the TNA one. Just look at that interview he did after lockdown, and look how much fucking in shape this guy is. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that interview. And I was thinking, I would love to see... Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar in WWE in a UFC fight. I saw that interview. You, uh, pretty good? Like, really be honest, would you guys like to see that in a match, like in a wrestling match or an MMA match? Bobby Lashley versus uh, Brock Lesnar. I mean, either way, I think if they even if they did it in a wrestling match, I think they would still like the MMA stuff. So. Because WWE used to do, like, real fighting. Oh yeah, that boxing thing? Uh, yeah, it was so awesome. I'm just thinking, wouldn't that be awesome to see Bobby Lashley versus, uh... They did pro wrestling one time. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking good. That's funny. Oh my god, that was funny. It's just weird. I, I would love to see it. Batista, they was talking a while ago that Batista wanted to fight Bobby Lashley. But now that Batista looks out of shape, he looks fat as fuck. Yeah, he doesn't look as jacked as he did. No, not even close. It really makes me mad. Why the fuck did he always look like Pitbull, too? And then he goes to wear skinny jeans when yeah. he returns. That was fucking gay as hell. It was! Thank you! What? You're not a teenager. Calm down. It was so weird. And now we're joined by the best man in the world. I love this guy. I hate to say this, but... Uh, Gangman, you're thrown right into the fire because we're actually midway recorded. I'm glad you can make it, my bud. You what? We are midway recorded, so I hate to throw you in. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. So, yeah, like, one time, that band came. What's up, Colt? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I just started laughing. 